Hi everyone and welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf and tonight we're going to work on a chipping drill that is sure to make you better. It's going to give you the correct feels and the correct picture of what we're trying to do. Typically when I see someone struggling with chipping or pitching or, or really short game for that matter and we get 50 yards and in, the biggest thing that I see is the low point is not correct which we've explained in previous videos but we'll just kind of recap here for one quick second. So again in my setup I've got to make sure my shoulders level okay so this right shoulder has got to be up to this left shoulder okay if I start down the club's going to bottom out behind the golf ball my eyes have to be in line or I even like slightly in front of the ball so what that's starting to do is put the golf ball on the downward part of your swing circle so we hit ball first so why people are so afraid of the short game especially in this tightly mown area and I, you see people pop from 50 60 yards is because they can't get ball first because their low points not correct so again because how our hands are on the club my right hands lower than my left this right shoulder is going to dip down so when we set up we have to make sure that we again push this left hip in which pushes my right shoulder up which makes my eyes go over the ball okay so just make sure that you're set up properly so the golf ball is on the downward part of your swing circle. The next thing that I see so much of is that we try to help the ball or the shoulder gets down low. As soon as this shoulder goes low and my head goes down and my head goes back, it's game over. My, my low point is way behind the ball. So we've got to figure out a, a way or a technique which, or a drill, which I have for you tonight, that will really explain and give you the feel of what we want to feel. So, We've got the setup correct. So what has to happen and what we have to make sure of is that this right shoulder from where it starts, it doesn't go down from where you started. Okay, the minute it goes down, your bottom out point's gonna go behind the ball. So it has to stay up or level and up to the ball. So when the, when the club bottoms out, it's not below the ball. So you're not hitting it fat or trying to read, this is what I see a lot of, that's why people are very handsy and they hit it thin a lot is because they're trying not to let the, the club hit the ground. One of the most important things you can think of in the short game is you have to be able to hit the ground and not take a divot, okay? You have to be able to hit the ground and not take a divot or use the bounce. And people that take divots, again, is because there's, this shoulder is down too low and this arm, see, it can't fully extend. I want you, be, I want you to be able to feel that when you swing, Okay, if this shoulder's up, I want you to be able to feel that when you swing that your arm can actually extend almost like a piston. And the weight of the club is gonna go right into the ground. Okay, you have to have that feeling. If you don't, then it's pretty much a lottery of what's gonna happen when you hit. But you've gotta be able to use the ground. So we've gotta figure out, you know, what, what, what's the best case scenario for, uh, for that to happen. Again, your shoulder's gotta be up, your setup's gotta be, you know, fairly correct, but this drill, this one arm chipping drill is one, by far one of the best ones I've ever seen in 20 years of teaching. So we'll do face on and then we'll do a couple up to the pin. So here's what I want you to do. When you chip, okay, we've got our setup correct and the shoulder goes up so it's more level with your, with your left. When you chip, this left hip pushes out of the way and it pushes my shoulder up to the ball and it doesn't go down. So it's level and up to the ball. That, that allows my arm or my right arm to go down and hit the ball without taking a divot or out the leading edge hitting in the ground. So it's a very clean contact. Those of you that want to spin the ball, you know, what's the magic bullet? What's the secret? This, just hit it clean. You know, just hit it correctly. There's nothing more to it than that. So the drill is, if we're going this way, because we got to go both ways, if we're, if we're going this way, if I set up, I'm going to turn my body straight towards the target. Okay, so my shoulder, my hip, my feet, they're all in line. It's not like I'm just closed or open a little bit. I'm fully going towards the target. So this shoulder is up and it's in line with the ball. So when I swing, I want to be soft enough in my arm so the weight of the club can go down into the ground. Again, this shoulder stays up and, and I, I feel like my, I'm really soft in this arm, so when the weight of the club goes down, it extends my arm. So I swing down, the weight of the club goes down, and now I clip the ball. So again, I swing down and clip the ball. 
there's no way I'm going to hit that fat. There, it's almost impossible unless I get tight to hit it thin. But to hit it fat, see this shoulder's got it to go down, but we're supposed to, we're going to have this shoulder stay up. So unless my arm gets longer, there's no way I'm going to hit it fat. So you, you get comfortable with hitting the ground over and over again. Do that one more time, make some practice swings. So again, my feet are lined up, my shoulders up to the ball, it stays high and my, I allow my arm to extend into the ground. So there's no fear of hitting this fat. So, I mean, and, and again, you shouldn't have to be perfect, especially when you get out on the golf course, there's this tight lie. For you to have to manage this length of your arm and be perfect, I mean, that's, that's kind of like a no-win scenario. It definitely is. So now when we get ready to go, we're going to go to a pin here. So I'll, I'll make a couple practice swings. So again, I'm completely facing the pin. So when I swing down, I feel my arm extend. I'm soft enough. This shoulder stays up. I'm soft enough in my arm so it goes, it makes the, the golf club, the head of the club, go down into the ground. Okay, do one more. Feel my arm, my arm gets extended or it pulls by the weight of the club. It pulls down into the ground. That's what puts all the spin on it. Just, it's just clean contact. That's all it is. It's good low point, you know, and some nice grooves. So again, shoulder stays up. My arm gets extended by the weight of the club. And again, you don't have to hit it perfect. You can hit, you know, a few inches behind that. So when we go back to our chip shot, our regular chip shot, so we're thinking this, shoulders high, arm gets extended, right? I'm up to the ball. So now when I face the ball, I get here. I lean left, back. So my shoulder gets up to the ball. My left hip clears. My shoulder stays high and up to the ball. And my arm can extend down into the ball. So again, lean left, left hip goes out of the way and I can feel my arm extend down into the ball, so I'm not gonna hit it fat. So again, from down the line, that was face on. I get ready to go, left hip gets out of the way and my shoulder gets up to the ball. It almost feels like I'm coming over the top a little bit, but I'm soft enough in my arm, so when the weight of the club gets down to the ball, it can, the, my arm is just, it gets extended by the weight of the club. So do that one more time. Left hip clear, shoulder gets up to the ball. And now the, my, my arm can really just extend into the ball. So you've got to get comfortable with use, using the ground. If you're afraid to hit the ground, it's your low point. Okay, you've got to be able to say, I can let my arm go all the way down into the ground, use the bounce of the club. This drill is magic. And that, now you, you'll start to have some confidence and now a lot of options will open up for you around the short game. So give this drill a try. I, it, uh, it will, for most people, I bet you it completely changes their short game and they're, they're gonna want to chip like this. It's, it's not, a, not a bad way to chip if you're struggling with face on. You know, face the target one arm, it's, it's a pretty darn good way to chip. So give this a try. I, I hope this helps. I, I'm almost positive it will. And you'll get more comfortable and get your, get your scores down be able to get the ball up and in around the green. Hi everyone, like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf, for all tips on golf. If you'd like a live lesson or want to send me a message, visit me at billyfitzgeraldgolf.com.